So before we actually get into this video, I don't want you to become one of those stories that you hear about new construction that it didn't go well for me and it did not sit right. So make sure before you actually buy new construction, you have everything that you need to know about new construction. So right now I'm standing right behind a new construction development. And as you can see that a lot of things going on, a lot of moving pieces. So make sure you have a proper experience. Contact our team. We will help you in the process of buying new construction. My name is Gene Garan. I'm a licensed agent. I'm also an investor in the area as well. So I have a lot of insight on new construction. So let's get into the video. So in today's video, we're going to discuss the three things you should know before you buy new construction and you should follow this guideline if you're going to buy new construction. If you don't, you might end up losing or you might end up not doing the proper way. So follow these three guidelines of what to do when you're buying new construction. As of right now, you want to follow this guide. It's going to help you buy new construction the best way and also to save you some headache and some costs and also make your life easier if you're buying new construction. So let's get into it. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure you hire an agent. Yes, you're gonna say, hey, watch your hire an agent. The agent's gonna help navigate throughout the whole process. Remember, if you're not an expert in that space, you need someone that's an expert in that space, that's going to help you and navigate through that process. Preferably someone who, who deals with new construction and who understands new construction. So that agent's gonna do one of several things. They're gonna help walk you through the process, help you review the contract, help you with the navigation of certain dates, also follow up with the builder, not just the people that's on the phone, but the people that's on the ground, help them build that house an agent should go visit the property at least once or twice a month and if you don't have an agent that's doing that you should fire them you can have someone that's going to go to the property at least twice a month during the construction phase remember all you need is updates that's it so you're probably thinking i can do all that by myself yes you can but what happens if you're a working class person or you have a business to run what are you going to do in the event that something comes up and you can't get to it an agent is going to help alleviate some of that stress on you and it makes your life a little easier and remember you're not paying for the agent the new construction builder is paying for that agent so why not have somebody represent you and remember a new construction doesn't like for you to have an agent because they keep that money on they keep that money for them if you hire someone you're not paying for it and that agent can help you and they'll better represent you as well they might even have someone to refer to you to review that contract so let's get into the next piece the next, next thing you want to do when you buy a new construction you want to get an inspection the inspection is going to help you navigate through all the rips and hurdles after closing you know the house is being built the right way the right structure and you have someone that's on your side that's not just a company where they hire to do it for them you want to get an inspection preferably during the whole process now this here how this thing will work you want to make sure that you're telling them before you get on the contract hey i'm going to have this house inspected what is your parameters what is the details how do we go about this you don't want to wait till the end of closing and say hey i want to inspect this new construction home it doesn't work that way with new developers they want to know when and where you're going to inspect the property and then what they're going to do is they're going to give you a list preferred people that's on their list if you have someone that's not on that list you can add them to that list so you want to know this ahead of time remember new construction can take anywhere between six six to eight months to build so you have ample time to make sure you get your stuff in order and get it done right. So don't be lazy, don't negate it. Take care of it on the front end so you don't have problems on the back end. All right, let's get into the third part. The third part is lenders. Typically there's um, advantages when you buy new construction with a new builder. They're gonna tell you, hey, we're gonna give you this incentive because you're buying with us. Remember, that's only if you buy with them and use a preferred lender because they're already in cahoots anyway, one way or the other. You're gonna have some disclosures. They're gonna say, hey, we're an affiliated company. That's perfectly okay. That's probably a sister company that owns them. That's gonna help you. And they'll give you an, a, a benefit for that. They'll say, hey, I'll give you this amount towards closing. I'll give you X amount of dollars, closing costs, um, to things towards the build design. This is not to say this, this doesn't help you. It does help you. But what happens if that bill is preferred and cannot afford to close you and you don't qualify with them? Do you lose all those benefits? You wanna make sure you have something in writing that states, hey, should you not be able to approve me? Can I go with my own lender? And and how much time do I have to close if I go with my own lender? These are things you should know ahead of time before you go into that space. Now you're gonna say, hey, it may not affect me, but let's say it takes six months to build a house, something happens in those six months to your credit or your job history or anything. What's to say that lender won't close on you now? You have to go find someone else. You might lose your deposit in that sense. So you might wanna have some things in the future to protect you. Remember, what you're essentially doing throughout this whole video, what you see, what you're simply understanding is you need to outline everything as you go. Pair everything on the front end and not the back end. You have an agent represents you. You know about the terms for the, for the loan. You know what the terms are for the inspection. You need to make sure that you're preparing yourself ahead of time. It's not just go, I see a house, I sign a dotted line, and I'm good to go. There's new construction that get built and get built poorly. So there's lenders who give you rates that doesn't, that's not in your favor because you have to go with them and it's preferred rate. You might wanna have your options to explore it. So if you're gonna do all this work, make sure you do it the right way. So these are my tips for you to buy new construction. Make sure you follow them. If you have any questions, let me know. If you have a comment, you think I need to add something else to it, drop a comment. As always, like, subscribe to the channel. Appreciate it. Wanna give you guys some good context and also some good content. Thank you.